Euphorbia hieta. I'd like to talk to you today about a plant you might not even notice, but it's much more useful than you'd think. It's called Euphorbia hieta, but it's known as Manome in French, Milkweed in English, Jean Robert on the island of Reunion, or Demba Sinji in Bambra. In Bambra, it literally means breast milk. In many languages, the name given to this plant refers to the white latex which contains in abundance in all its parts, and that looks like milk. So, what's so interesting about this plant? It's often considered a weed, but in fact, there's no such thing as a weed. That's a bad name given to plants that people think are not useful, when in fact, they are. Euphorbia is one of those plants. Instead of using this term, it's better to call them self-propagating plants. Self-propagating plants are so well adapted to their environment that they grow much better than the vegetables that we grow. The advantage of the vegetables we grow is that they get nice and big, but the disadvantage is that they are less adapted to their environment and therefore more fragile. Euphorbia is a self-propagating plant perfectly adapted to grow easily without human help. A single plant gives 3,000 seeds, 90% of which grow successfully. It's found in fields, on roadsides and gardens, in tropical regions, in Africa, India, China, Japan, and many other countries, such as Mali. The great thing about this plant is that it is a medicinal plant that is used to fight a lot of diseases. Scientists have done a lot of research and have confirmed the properties that humans have associated with this plant for centuries. The plant is known and confirmed by scientists to be good for stimulating the production of breast milk, treating intestinal disorders and parasites, treating respiratory disorders such as asthma, bronchitis, hay fever, coughs and colds, treating cataracts. Yes, when a cataract has just started, you put drops of the latex in the eyes for several weeks and it will reduce the cataract or even remove it altogether. Treating skin infections such as warts, mouth ulcers and fungal infections. Euphobia hieta not only has antiseptic properties but it is also an anti-inflammatory and it helps heal cuts and grazes. Isn't that amazing? So that's a quick summary of what I wanted to say about this unremarkable looking plant which is actually really important. So now when you come across it in your garden or on the side of the road don't just pull it out pick some of it and make a herbal tea with it. The taste isn't great, but with a little mint or lemongrass it goes down alright. If you keep chickens and they get sick, give them Euphorbia hieta. It's a natural antibiotic which will cure them. Chickens love this plant, so they won't refuse their medicine. If you want to know more, there's a lot of information on the internet. I hope you liked this video and that it was useful. Thank you and see you soon.